Hello and welcome to console accessories and what we're going to do today is replace the back plate of the switch with this one. Now this one I got from Amazon. I bought it and it came today and it's from Extreme Rate. It's the same people that sent me the Joy-Con shells. And if you look, I've got the classic NES Joy-Cons. But if you look on the back, it doesn't really match very well. So I went out and bought this myself so I can plonk that on there. Um, and as with the Joy-Cons, these were, well, they were okay. If you followed the steps, this is even easier to do the back plate, okay? And what I've already done, I have already taken it off. And the reason why was because when you when you buy these plates and these Joy-Con shells from Extreme Rate, they're really good because they give you the tools you need. So these, there's one with a four thread and a three. But they also give you all of the screws that you need as well. So all of, most of these in here are from the original Switch because I just think they're rubbish, the ones on the Switch. I've threaded them so many times and it's been so difficult to get them out. So what I do is every time I took one out, I replace it. So there are four screws in the back of the plate there that will have the three thread. Um, and you'll need to use the three screwdriver for that. But I've replaced it with the ones with four. So I won't be replacing with the thread. So the one with the three, which is that one, I won't be needing. I'll put that to one side. I'm only gonna be using this one. And there are all the spare screws. And these are for when we get it cracked open. Okay, so there are a lot of screws. And the, when you're looking at the instructions on how to do this, it says you need to be taking off all of these screws here. You don't, you just need to be taking off the middle one, those back four, those bottom two, and that top one there. Okay, so first up, let's take the two side screws off. Now we're going to take this one off, which is the top single screw. Then we're going to take these two off, either side of the power button, power connector. Then what you need to do is where your kickstand is. If you lift your kickstand up, you're gonna to need to use the spring from the kickstand. So my kickstand's rubbish anyway, so I'm just going to pull it off. And there's a screw there you need to take out. And then once that's out, you're gonna to need to, this is where the, take this out. You're not, this is really the only specialist equipment you need. You don't really need anything. I've got my magnetic tray here and these tweezers that's quite handy to take that out, but to be honest with you, that's all you need. So you need that bit, just keep that bit. The kickstand, you don't need. And then in here, take your SD card out. And there's another screw there. And then finally, we're gonna do those Four there. Okay. Once you've got all that out, dead easy. It's just unsnapping the back bit getting your nails in there and then just pulling it out. Okay, really easy. Look how dusty that is in there. Now, again, extreme rate, really good. They, they supply you with these grates here and this bit of sponge, which go there, there and there. So, this over. And we'll match it. So we'll put this on there, that one on there. And we'll put this bit in there. Okay. 
And then once that's done, we need our two squares in there. So there's a square in the bottom corner there, and there's a square in that bottom corner. There we go, so that's that bit done. And then what we're going to do now is fit the metal bit into here. Should just pop in, there we go. And then we'll put the screw back in. And we need to rebuild it. So get rid of the old back case. So simply put it on there. Snap it all in. And then, oh yes, forgot this. Do this bit first. This is the game card. Um, game card flap, there's a screw on there. Don't forget that one. Then it's just a case of making sure it's on all the way around. There. Looks about right to me. And then we're just gonna reverse the process and we're gonna start off with those four screws there. Once they're in, next up we'll do, doesn't really matter which one next, but we'll do this one here under the kickstand. Then we'll do these bottom two, either side of the power connector. Top one. Now finally, the two side ones. And there we have it, we're done. How easy was that? A lot easier than the Joy-Cons, even though the Joy-Cons aren't particularly hard, they're a little bit fiddly in places. That's literally uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws, nothing to it. Oh no, 10 and then maybe 11, 12, because we've got the one inside, haven't we, for this one. So not many. And then a bit of a kickstand, but I didn't use my kickstand very much because it's basically naff. Either, either way. Okay, so let's try and put that on. And then remember we've got to put our SD card back in. Okay. There it is from the front. And there it is from the back. From the top. Yeah, that looks much nicer. Okay, so that's it. And what I'll do is, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll help you out as much as I can. But I shouldn't think you need much help with this one because it's an easy one. And that's how from, and I'll give a link down below as to where you can get all the extreme rake stuff. 
some really good quality stuff and a lot of really positive reviews on Amazon and I can see why because it feels really good and the the back it just feels really nice really good quality so yeah pleased okay give us a thumbs up if, if it's helped you out I really appreciate it and subscribe around here if you're new and for the next video bye bye <laughs>